About a century ago, Florence H. Luscombe graduated from MIT with a degree in architecture, one of the first women to do so. She wasn't just a pioneer in her profession, she was also a member of the women's suffrage movement and even credits her feminism to meeting Susan B. Anthony at a young age. Welcome to WGBH's The Rewind, where each week we explore the public media archives where history is preserved, online and in the vault. Not all of us get to meet our heroes like Luscombe did, but it doesn't make them any less important in our lives. So this week we want to know, who's your feminist hero? Mine is Wangari Mathai, founder of the Green Belt Movement and the first African woman to win the Nobel Peace Prize. Let us know your answer in the comments below or with the hashtag WGBH Rewind. This month marks the 99th anniversary of the 19th Amendment, granting women the right to vote something that Luscombe discusses in this clip from a 1975 episode of WNED's Woman. The Woman series discussed issues from the Equal Rights Amendment to ageism to sexuality, and is preserved and accessible online through the American Archive of Public Broadcasting. Let's rewind. Woman, an in-depth exploration of the world of women today with Sandra Elkin. Good evening, and welcome to Woman. We have a very special guest this evening. She has a unique perspective on the women's movement. Her involvement began when she was a child, and her mother took her to hear Susan B. Anthony. Her involvement continued to her graduation from the Massachusetts Institute of Technology School of Architecture in 1909 and continues until the present day. My guest is Ms. Florence Luscombe. Florence, thank you very much for coming. <laughs> I'm very happy to be here. Can you tell me about your mother taking you to see Susan B. Anthony? Well, my mother was a delegate to the National American Woman Suffrage Convention in 1892, and she took me with her then as a little girl of five. Now, of course, at that age, I can't tell you about the business that was transacted, but there is just one thing that I feel very keen in my recollection, and that is that they said to me, this woman who is speaking now is Susan B. Anthony. Do you think you've been a feminist ever since? I think I've been a feminist <laughs> ever since. <laughs> Susan B. Anthony converted me, shall we say. <laughs> well, I can't think of anyone more marvelous to be converted by than Susan B. Anthony. <laughs> and we have another newspaper clipping of you selling this newspaper on street corners. <laughs> yes, in 1910 and 1911, uh, the the publishers, the Blackwell and Lucy, Henry Blackwell and Lucy Stone, were very anxious to uh, spread out to a larger public for their magazine, for their newspaper. And they asked me if I would sell it as a newsboy on the streets of Boston. And for two years, every Saturday afternoon, I stood at the corner of Tremont Street and Winter Street selling the paper. But in order to be permitted to do that, I had to get a license as a hawker and peddler. And this is my license, granted to me in 1910. Florence, I thank you very much for coming this evening. Thank you for watching. I've been talking to Florence H. Luscombe, who is a suffragist. Good night. can't close out the show without recognizing the women behind the Rewind. They wrote the script, they're behind the camera, and they're working in the archives. And that's not unusual here at WGBH. You can take your own adventure into the archives at openvault.wgbh.org and let us know what you find in the comments or with the hashtag WGBH Rewind. Thanks for unwinding with the Rewind, and we'll see you next week in the archives. Mm -hmm.